Welcome to another episode of Greatness Quest. Today the subject is roadkill. I'm about to go over and see those vultures who are feasting on some roadkill. We're gonna talk about the most dangerous place for you and I to be in our business. I know you're gonna love the show. Cowboy. Welcome to a daily dose of Greatness Quest. With your host, Trevor Green, my daddy. He's going to help you take your life and business to the next level. Here I come to save the day. Trevor Crane here, 11-time number one best-selling author and the founder of Epic Author Publishing, coming to you live every day so you can plug in every day to build your ideal business so you can live your ideal life. If my daddy can do it, then anybody can do it because he's a weirdo. You're supposed to make me sound cool. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back. Um, I'm riding my bike back from the gym. I actually just had three workouts this morning. Uh, I worked out with my trainer, trying to get my body more powerful and strong. I wanna be like The Rock, even though I'm small and white. <laughs> and then I went to private tennis practice and uh, tennis lessons, because I wanna get better at tennis. And here I see the carrion. Oh my God, this, is, this reeks. I have no idea what critter this is. Oh, I think I know. It's probably an armadillo. All right, this is a dead armadillo. And look at the vultures, look at the carrion. Look at this. Holy crap. That's what, 20 vultures feasting on an armadillo that I'll bet you dollars to donuts died in the middle of this road. In fact, I can tell right there, there's some carnage there in the middle of the road. So here is the lesson that it's reminding me of. Let me get back on this bike and start riding again. Oh, oh, oh. All right, other than the fact that that reeks. So here's what happens. Most people are too scared in their business to decide what side of the road they wanna be on. And there's actually, you've got, you've got a choice. You can go ahead and go right, left, or stay right in the middle. Now, where do all the animals get killed? Where is, the, where is road kill? Where is the most dangerous place to be? Because as I'm riding this bike over here on the side of the road, relatively safe, as long as I uh, don't murder myself with this other bike that's coming. <laughs> Maybe you're not supposed to be doing podcasts while you ride the bike. <laughs> There's my wife. Okay. So one of the ways to think about this is where you're gonna position yourself in your business. A lot of people are too scared to position themselves on the right side of the road. What do we have here? And a Ford. Ford truck. Okay, so which of those is a better car? You know, there's an Acura, there's a Lexus, there's a Tesla. Which of those is the better car? Just based on the branding. Those, th those car owners have made a decision saying which side of the road do they wanna be on. Now let's go far right. Let's say, uh, That is a premium product, and that is going to sell to people who appreciate premium quality products. As most people will go ahead and say, well, I'm too scared to go the most expensive. Maybe the safer place is gonna go really cheap. But then they know that if you go to the dollar store to buy something, unless it's like soap for your store, you know you're buying something that's crap. You know you're buying a low quality product when you position your pricing and who you're gonna serve over on the left side. Now, what do most people do? Most people don't wanna be considered that they're the cheapest, so they won't go all the way on the left. They'll try to go somewhere in the middle. And then they're dancing in between where they, you know, they, 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 they really don't appeal to the high end and they really don't appeal to the low end Instead, they're just dancing 
in the middle of the road. And it's fine. Woo! They can go ahead and it might feel safe. There's all this space in the middle of the road. We're like, oh my gosh, look how much room I have. It's so nice. But this is the most dangerous place with your brand and in your marketing and in your positioning. Most people are scared to make a stand. My challenge for you today is to make a stand. Decide, make an opinion. I just uh, recorded a training yesterday on uh, media secrets for authors. And one of the things that my buddy Jess Toddfeld, who uh, wrote the book Media Secrets, was talking about, and just created a little program for my, all my uh, epic author clients, is he said, you need to have an opinion. Don't be wishy-washy and say, well, this is kind of maybe the greatest thing ever. No, you make a decision and you, you, you own it. You say, this is the shit, whatever it is. Have an opinion. Somebody is gonna like it. Someone is probably not gonna like it. And in fact, probably the more powerful part of our brands is who we repel versus who we attract. I also just saw Joe Rogan last night do his stand-up, a Netflix special. Freaking hilarious. Totally uh, advise that you check that out. But uh, I guarantee you that there are a lot of vegans out there that aren't going to like Joe Rogan. A lot of cat lovers out there that aren't going to like Joe Rogan. I am sure he pisses off so many damn people. So my challenge to you is twofold. Number one, decide what side of the road you're going to be on. You know, are you going to position yourself and your brand as being somebody who is high end and then you, you're going to serve people that want this premium product or service? Or are you going to position yourself as low end? And it's okay. There's people who make millions of dollars selling low end cheap stuff. That's totally fine. But the danger spot is here in the middle. That's question number one. Challenge number two and question number two is along the lines of, of making a stand, having an opinion about something. So make an opinion. Actually, here's challenge number two. Piss somebody off. Uh, what is it? I think it was Dan Kennedy. I can't remember who it was that said, if you haven't pissed off five people before lunch, then you're not doing your, you're not marketing hard enough. <laughs> so I don't know what that means for you. That's all I got for you today. Make sure that you make a stand. Don't end up like roadkill. Dead in the middle of the road. All right? That's all I got for you today. Make today magnificent. And I'll see you tomorrow another Daily Dose of greatness quest later to get even more awesomeness which means all my best stuff download my app by texting trevor to 36260 it will show up right on your cell phone just text message the word trevor to 36260 talk to you soon